all right guys welcome to another episode of the agenda show so as i said we, we are back again and this time around too it's just another bad news you know it's just another bad news so on sunday evening there was a, a diesel tanker car that got an accident in, in the town in kumasi which is called kasi yes it got an accident in kasi and there was a fuel spillage and it appears ghana we don't learn from anything seriously we don't learn from anything we didn't learn from the other uh, fuel tanker explosion incident that has happened previously we didn't even learn from what recently happened at uh, apiati the the fuel tank got an accident and the fuel was spilling and you could see in a video people rushing with buckets and their containers and gallons to just go and then fetch the fuel and the question is ask yourself what are they even going to use that fuel for the fuel that you are actually going to fetch how do you plan on keeping it safe how do you plan on storing it the fact that you are even going to take the diesel fuel to your house Nankasa, is a danger on its own fine you could tell me say you are going to sell it but you can't tell me say you are going to sell it outright you are going to sell it outright if you decide to take the fuel back home and then go and keep it you are still going to that, that is another form of danger that you are taking to your house we don't learn hey it will be beneath pa day pan or see a day and sana yeah what at all is will be beneath looking for in this life what at all are we looking for yes we understand that the system is hard things are hard if you are taking any step towards these things you should consider the danger first consider your life and consider the life of the people around you fine me fear okay me i didn't even go to the accident scene and imagine one one of my colleagues goes out to fetch the fuel bring it back to the house and then it's not catch properly it catches fire in our house and imagine are we serious as a country so it took the it took the the help of fire service personnel to come around and then try and then uh, suck all those people away from the accident scene and then uh, do what they were supposed to do no it is it is it is unreal right and you're fine like we need we need to or see me and it as ghanaians this thing is getting out of hand anytime there is a tanker car involved in an accident and there's a fuel split instead of people to evacuate that area and then move far away from it or because it could easily catch fire with a sparkle with just a sparkle instead you see people running towards the danger with their gallons and containers trying to go and seize the fuel whether they are seizing it for their own consumption whether they are seizing it to go and sell nobody knows no, the team be say, as you they do this things, now have you considered those around you? Have you considered your, your household? No, you take this fuel home and it catches fire. That's also another issue. I no intino obibini or yeah, yeah, that's obibini consider the the pros and cons of what he does. Uh, as soon as he gets the idea and because he's an obibini, he just jumps into it. Hey! Obibini and the bow. We don't learn from anything. We don't learn from anything. We are always constantly repeating the same mistakes. Constantly repeating the same thing. We don't make a video now. Now you, you let's watch the video. And this is the situation. It appears we never learn from anything. A tanker has toppled over. A diesel tanker. And people are rushing in with buckets, with all sort of containers they can they can get to to fetch. Yes, another one. You see, see a lady pa. See, see the lady. What tam bucket, big bucket. ma. So now ask yourself, bucket you crawl or the gum no? Is it safe? Now, or boob fuel and go back at him or the coin, that's the question. If you if or see the fuel and go back at him, where is she taking the fuel to? How is she going to even store the fuel in the bucket? Hey, 
So this is the level the country has got into. It seems this country gets worse by the day. It gets worse by the day. It gets worse. We understand. We all know. We are all suffering. Because we know, say, the system is not working. Things are hard. But please, it doesn't mean you should put your life in danger and put the life of those around you in danger as well. Someone's carelessness and someone's irresponsibility and someone's foolish attitude she, she shouldn't be my, somebody's peril. You know, it's hard time we start persecuting people for these things. It's hard time we start arresting people and persecuting them for these things. And yes, I, I think that that would be the only solution other than people wouldn't stop. And moreover, Adia you are stealing. You are stealing. The fact that a tanker car has gotten an accident doesn't give you an opportunity to go and steal the fuel. There is an incident you will see. So, we have, let's say um, a truck full of um, alcoholic drinks, alcoholic beverages will get an accident, and you see people on top of it drinking. And I don't understand. There is this cliche. All these things, mostly all these news and reportage, always come from Kumasi. I have no idea, but they always come from Kumasi. I have no idea, but they always come from Kumasi. You always get these reportages coming from Kumasi. They are always coming from Kumasi. They are always reports of these incidents from Kumasi. Because last month ago, there was an incident of um, a club beverage. Yes, the truck gets in an accident, and we had people from Kumasi drinking. They were just on top of it drinking. Because they, according to the police, were around, and they were like, no, they can't allow them to take the bottles because that would be a huge cost to the company. So what happened was, you can drink, on, on, you can drink on the scene so that I don't take the bottle out. We had people drinking. They drank and drank, and we even had people coming in with buckets to pour all the drinks in them so that they can take them to the house. Obibini is always looking for an opportunity to steal. Obibini is always looking for an opportunity to cheat. Uh, Yapon. All right, it's been another episode of the Agenda Show. All right, make sure you subscribe to our page and then like our videos. Put your comment in the comment section. See you guys next time. Bye.